Hi everyone, I am Madhu. So friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about question number 6 from exercise 7.1 of chapter number 7, Triangles, class 9. So the question is, in figure, AC is equal to AE. So you can see the figure that AC is equal to AE. AB is equal to AD. AB is equal to AD. It is given to us these sides are equal. And angle ABD, uh, sorry, angle BAD is equal to angle EAC. Angle BAD means this angle is equal to the angle EAC, EAC, this angle. So these both angles are equal. Show that BC, BC is equal to DE. So we have to show that BC, this below line segment, this BC, it is equal to DE, means this line segment. So we have to show them equal. So how we can show them equal? First of all, we need to prove two triangles congruent here because BC is the part of triangle ABC. And DE is the part of triangle ADE which I have marked in black color. So first of all we need to prove the triangle ABC and ADE congruent. ABC which is in blue color and ADE which is in black color. So when we will prove these both triangles congruent automatically BC will be equal to DE by CPCT. So first we what we need to do we have to prove ABC and ADE congruent. So let's start the solution. So from where we are going to start? So first of all we will write in triangle ABC and triangle ADE. So first of all what is given to us that AB is equal to AD. So AB is the part of the triangle ABC. So we will write AB is equal to AD and AD is the part of the triangle ADE. So we will write is equal to AD and the reason will be it is given to us. So one side we have got equal. Now you can see it is given to us in the question that angle BAD is equal to the angle EAC means these both angles are equal. But we are talking about the triangle ABC and ABC this complete angle we are talking about if we are talking about the triangle ABC. So we need this complete angle but only this much is given to us and in the triangle ADE only EAC this portion is given to us equal but we need this complete angle. So in both the triangles ABC also and ADC all, ADE also this portion this portion is common this portion is common. And this portion is angle DAC. So angle DAC we are going to, so uh, angle DAC we are going to add it in angle BAD and angle EAC. Why we are adding? So that when we will add this portion into this angle, we will get this complete angle. Fine, we will get this complete angle. And when we will add this portion into this angle, we are going to get this complete portion, which is a part of angle ADE. That's why we are going to add angle DAC in both the both these angles. So we will write here angle BAD plus angle DAC. This angle is DAC. Angle DAC is equal to the angle EAC plus angle DAC. EAC plus angle DAC. So when we will add uh, angle DAC into BAD, when we will add BAD and DAC, what we are going to get? This complete angle and this complete angle is angle BAC. So we will write angle BAC. So what we have got after adding BAC. So this angle we have got equal. Now after adding EAC and DAC means EAC this one and DAC is this one. We are going to get this complete angle. So it is DAE. So we will write here DAE. So these angles we have got equal. Now one side we have got equal, one angle we have got equal. Here the reason we will write just proved. We have proved above that these angles are equal by adding DAC on both the uh, on both angles which were equal which was given to us equal then put uh, now one more condition we need here so what you can see it is given to us that AB is equal to AD AB is equal to AD it is done 
AC is equal to AE. So AC is this line segment and AE is this line segment. AC is a part of the triangle ABC and AE is a part of triangle ADE. So we can write AC is equal to AE. And the reason will be it is given to us. So the reason will be given. So they are given to us. Now we have got three conditions. So the triangles ABC and ADE are congruent. Now tell me the criteria by which congruency rule they are congruent. So we have got one side, one angle and one more side. So we can see this side, this complete angle and this side. So uh, they will be congruent by which congruency rule? SAS, side angle side. One side, one included angle and another side. So we can write therefore triangle ABC will be congruent to the triangle ADE by ADE by SAS side angle side congruency rule. Congruence rule. Congruence rule. Now we have proved these both triangles congruent but the question is asking that we have to show BC is equal to DE. So you can see that BC is the part of the triangle ABC here. BC is the part of the triangle BC, uh, ABC and DE is the part of the triangle ADE. So we can write hence BC will be equal to DE by CPCT corresponding parts of congruent triangle. So BC will be equal to DE by CPCT. I have written it here only. CPCT. So this was, uh, this was question number 6. I hope you have understood it. So let's move on towards our next question.